Well guys, Friday, June 19th, I got my very first double digit dividend payment. Now, it wasn't from one stock, it was from two stocks. And actually, I got paid $10.19 from the combination of these two stocks. But my very first double digit day when it comes to dividend payments, and I'm very excited about it because I am definitely starting to see the compound effect and the way it works, the snowball effect, how everything is, is multiplying, not only with me um, adding money every week, but also with me reinvesting my dividends. And I'm gonna go and show you guys exactly where I started with these stocks. It was two stocks, remember, where I started with these two stocks in the beginning and where I'm at with them today and how I got this double, divid ah, <laughs> double digit uh, dividend payment day, which like I said, Friday of last week, which was, uh, June 19th. And not only did I get my first double digit dividend payment, almost messed that up right there, uh, but I'm on route to make this, uh, this month is gonna be probably my first month ever where my entire dividend collection for this month is over $25, uh, which is amazing. We're a quarter of the way to $100 a month. And then, we will see where we take off from there. Like, I'm excited to see it. Uh, all the dividends we have posted right now is less than $25, but SPHD, which is my last one, isn't posted yet, but I calculated around what it may be, and I should be getting a little over 25, close to $26 a month, and I will do a separate video on that later on uh, toward the end of the month. Once I have all the dividends posted and all that. But really the reason I'm so excited to have a double digit day is because it really shows <clears throat> The compounding effect it really shows how compound interest works and the snowball effect and your hard work is beginning to pay off finally getting out of the single digits and getting into the double digits and by the time we know it i'll be in the uh, three digits and four digits sometime in my lifetime right well at least that is what we are aiming for Though it is hard work, it does pay off. I definitely think uh, dividend investing is underrated. But guys, before we get into the Robinhood portfolio to show you, I just wanna say thanks so much for all the love you've been showing us. We're almost to uh, a thousand subs, we're at 988. Let's see if we can get to a thousand subs by the end of the month. 1,000 subs, you see this board back here my girlfriend made? She did a great job on it, so let's not make her a liar. Let's hit a thousand subs by the end of the month. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button to join this little family we have going on, guys, and let's get to a thousand subs. Be part of the first thousand subs. Anyway, while you're down there, you might as well smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps this channel grow. Such a small channel like mine. Get brought out to a broader audience of people uh, and it really helps out a lot. But look, let's go ahead and jump into the phone and I'll show you guys exactly what two stocks made me my double digit day today. Well guys, here we are in the portfolio. I'll go over a little bit of what happened this week just as a little recap. So on the day, so on the day of Friday, June 19th, I was down a total of almost, well a little over $80, which was 1.42%. Uh, on the week though, I'm up $155.41, which is 2.85%. As we can see here, I have O, Realty Income is in the green, uh, RTX is down. I will be buying quite a bit more of shares of that bad boy. Uh, hopefully next week it drops down more. Um, Apple's in the green, Stag's in the green, and WPG is in the green. So we only have what, one, two, three, four in the green which hey it is what it is you know what i mean winning for the long haul uh whenever these stocks drop i do buy in them um i generally try to focus on one to three stocks to add money into a week the less the better uh right now i am focusing on uh at&t and rtx trying to definitely get those shares up to 20 to 25 i definitely want to get at least 25 shares of AT&T um, within the next month or so. That's my goal. I'm trying to get RTX up as well. Um, once I get to around 15 shares of RTX, I will kind of slack off of it a little bit, depending on 
um, where my average cost is and all that and if it's up if it's down yada yada you know the deal you know it's just goes stock by stock how you want to pick it and how you want to play right I wouldn't play RTX the same I would Bank of America but that is me that's how I pick these stocks guys and again remember I'm just some guy on YouTube that you like to watch probably because I look funny and uh or probably because you like to watch my journey and I might teach you a little bit on, along the way. But uh, whatever the case may be, remember I'm not a professional. Uh, this is strictly for entertainment and educational purposes only. But anyway guys, let's go to the first stock which is PSEC, Prospect Capital. So, I got paid, uh, let's see, when is it? Uh, June 19th, I got paid $3.12, uh, $3 I'm sorry. So. $3.12 from PSEC. This is what I got paid Friday, and that my next one that I will show you is the second one that made me my double digit day. Very first double digit day, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get these bad boys all the time. But, so, I, I own 52 shares, uh, well, 52 and a half shares. My average cost is $5.91, which is 5% of my overall portfolio, okay? I am down 20. Uh, six dollars which I'm not too worried about and I am reinvested in these dividends in here so as you can see I almost get a you know I get more than half of a share every time I reinvest these uh, three dollars or so and as you can see here my reinvestment April 23rd I reinvested that <clears throat> then May 21st reinvested that one that's why it keeps growing from three dollars and four cents to three dollars and eight cents now three dollars and twelve cents let's see all the dividends over time we collected from this so very first march 22nd so very first march 22nd um this is 2018 and i actually did use this uh portfolio to start investing prior and i kind of got out of it but when i really started to do it again was um november 20th 2019 so we'll start from any 2019 date so, started off 20, uh, November 20th, I got 18 cents. November, December 19th, 2019, 42 cents. January 23rd of this year, 66 cents. February 20th, $1.50. March 19th, $1.87. April 23rd, $3.04. April 20, no, May 21st, $3.08. And June 19th, $3.12. As you can see, um, definitely, I put a lot of money, I say a lot, but I mean, most of the reason that this has grown is because of the money I put in, but now it's to the point where I can almost buy a whole share every month with the dividend itself. Uh, who knows, I may buy more shares in the future depending on what's going on with the portfolio, but the main reason why I got this is because of its monthly paying dividend. That's why I, I purchased PSEC, just to have some guaranteed monthly income, because you know, sometimes you might have a gap in payments with like, with quarterly paying dividends if you don't stagger them correctly. So our next payment, which made me my double digit day, is ETFMG Alternative Harvest, ticket symbol Mary Jane. I own 25.768862 shares of it at a uh, average cost of $16.56. Um, as you can see, it's $13.47. It's about 6% of my portfolio and I'm down about 80 bucks, which is quite a bit, but I'm not, I'm not tripping. So let's see here. So I got paid $7.07. So Friday, March 19th, I got paid $7.07. Now I'll show you why it, it kind of bounced up like this, but so check it out. January 3rd was my first payment from this stock. I own 15 shares and the amount per share was 32 cents a share. So I got paid $4.80 um, January 3rd, 2020. Now as you can see here, March 22nd, I got paid $2.50, 25 shares, 10 cents a share. So as you can see, there was a significant dividend cut, cut, cunt, cut, dividend cut, cut, uh, 32 cents a share. March, I'm uh, sorry, January 3rd to 10 cents a share, March 20th. So January 3rd to March 20th, it dropped 28 cents or 22 cents, I'm sorry. Now, January 19th, 28 cents a share. 
So it definitely bumped up because you can see I'm at 25 shares here on June 19th, March 22nd, I was at 25 shares. I'm a little over, obviously, because I'm at 25, 25, whatever. Um, and I got paid $7.07, reinvestment amount. I got a little over half a share of this bad boy. So hopefully the dividend will keep growing, at least for our next uh, share. And we do know why the dividend grew for this uh, ETF is because all the stocks in it were open during the pandemic shutdown because they were deemed, the, the marijuana sector was deemed uh, essential. It was deemed essential. So that's why they stayed open. And they made quite a bit of money from that. That's why the dividend shot up. But these two here, $7.07 and $3.12 from PSEC, paid me $10.19 on, on June 19th, which was Friday. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to see, like I said, this month should be my first month I get paid $25, over $25 this month, which is amazing. We're definitely starting to see some progress here. And I definitely think we'll start seeing a lot higher rate of return when it comes to my portfolio here, guys. Once again, guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining us for another video. Smash that like button because it really helps this channel more than you guys know. And if you want to help us get to a thousand subs and join this little family we got going on, go ahead and click the little red subscribe button, turn it gray so you can join this family here we have going on, guys. Once again, thank you so much for all the support you've been showing us. <laughs> Leave me a comment below. Let me know how much are y'all on track to make from dividends this month, guys. Let me know and uh, we'll see exactly where we're at together. Anyway, guys, look, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. I'm going to get out of here, guys. Y'all have a great day and be safe out there.